it's Tana. Welcome back to the Rabbit Hole Designs YouTube channel. Today we're working with the Flower Whale stamp set and also the Friend stamp set and the Friend with Shadow dies. So for the first card I'm going to kind of make a frame all around the outside edge of the card with just the flowers and leaves that come in the Flower Whale stamp set. But I started out by stamping the word friend down there in the center of the bottom part of the card. I usually go for the word cut dies, um, or the word dies, but I wanted to try the stamp out. And unfortunately I end up going with uh, the die cut word at the end. You'll see why when we get there. So I'm just going to run you through my process of the masking, stamping and masking. I won't show you everything. Basically, what I did to one side, I tried to do to the other side, tried to keep it symmetrical, and which was kind of hard to do because, you know, when a, when a flower tilts a certain way, unless you're really going to try to bend the crap out of that stamp, you're really not going to get it to bend in the opposite direction. But that's okay, I just rolled with it. You know, they don't all have to bend the same exact way. And I like the way it turned out. I think it turned out to be a very pretty floral frame. And wasn't really something you would think of right away when you saw this stamp set, but it's definitely possible. And I'm not using regular masking paper this time. I'm using um, full stick post-it notes. So the friend stamp set has Lucky to Have a, Like You, You're My Best, My Sweet, and You Mean the World to Me. So quite a few sentiments to go along with the word friend. So here is the big reveal. I always like doing this when I mask off a bunch of things. And there was actually quite a few pieces of post-it uh, to take off of there. It looks kind of cool in black and white too, I have to say. But I did take the time, even though I don't show you, to color it all with my Copics. And here I am uncovering the word friend. So you can see the word friend there, but once it's colored, it kind of blended into the background and that is why I had to end up using the word die. So I cut out the word die and I put I believe just two layers of cardstock behind it so it would have enough dimension behind it to stand out from all the bright bold colors on the front of the card. And then I used a piece of teal cardstock from my stash that would match the color of the word friend centered my main panel on that mat with double-sided adhesive and then adhered my die cut word friend over the stamped word. I then took a few, I only show you one here but you'll see in the picture I added more. Originally I started off with you're my best but that white space was killing me so I added I think one more sentiment strip that would make sense and some stones that came with the confetti sequins or the with the sequins I'm sorry that came with my order this month so there's the card before the second sentiment strip and there it is you mean the world to me you're my best friend moving on to cards two three four and five yes five cards in this video but the last four are all similar. So this was not my idea. This was actually inspiration from somebody else, but it was very cool inspiration and I couldn't not do it. So I have to give a shout out to Marianne because it was her idea and I added on to it from there. So we have here the edge of the clouds of my coffee stencil and some white pigment ink. Now I want to mention if you do choose to use a bitty blending brush with your white pigment ink, I don't know because I haven't tried to wash mine off yet, but at least the ink that I used is very thick and sticky, and I don't know if it will ever come out of that brush. So it might be your designated white pigment ink brush if you do choose to use one. Also, because it's so thick, I noticed if you rub too hard, you're going to tear some of the bristles out of your brush. So it's definitely not a gentle ink to use with your bitty blending brushes. Moving on, I did 
one panel with the white pigment ink on black cardstock. And I took these colors here and I just sampled them out on a piece of cardstock so I could see what they looked like. And then I have these three blended panels here. One in just gray, one in just blue, and one with a mix of the two in between. I did not end up using the aqua sky for a background. And then I trimmed them all down to be four by five and a quarter inches. And now I have a whole bunch of previous rabbit hole designs stamp sets that all had sentiments I thought would go perfectly with this type of card. So I will put the stamp sets down in the description box below, but for right now I'll tell you what sentiments I have after I tell you that I used two pieces of vellum on each card that were cut out with a cloud outline die from my stash. That way it could look like the whale is floating in the clouds. And I tried to stick with a color ink that matched a color in the whale for each sentiment. So we have floating by to say hi. You are God's masterpiece. We rise by lifting others. And friends are like flowers. They fill the world with beauty. And that's a quote by Celeste Bernard. So now I'm going to use some double-sided adhesive to adhere the first layer of clouds, vellum clouds, down to the back of the card panel. And then I just trim off any excess. And then I will add the second panel, trying to see where I want to place the whale and then trying to hold it in place, flipping it over so I can add more double-sided adhesive to adhere the second vellum panel to the card. Don't you just love high speed? I love watching my fingers go super fast. The older that you get, the slower you get, so it's always fun to actually pretend you're fast. <laughs> okay, moving on. So now they're each going to go on their corresponding card panels. I adhere the black background to a white card base. And then the blue and gray cl clouds went onto a fog card base. The blue clouds went onto another white card base. And the gray clouds went onto a black card base. And I, I have to say, you can tell me in the comments below which whale is your favorite. But I love the black whale with the bright orange and pink flowers. But I have to say, I really also love the dainty colored whales where the backgrounds aren't colored, only the flowers are. So let me know which is your favorite. Then I added some um, flat back pearls to each card in different spots. Made them all look a little different. With my glossy accents. Does anybody else feel like they're horrible at sequin placement and embellishment placement? I always feel like I am. And that's it for this video, guys. Here's a look at those four cards. Don't forget to sign up for the Rabbit Hole Designs email. You can be aware of all the uh, new releases. And don't forget to find Rabbit Hole Designs on Instagram and on Facebook so you can be checking out all the inspiration that the design team has for you all month long, every month. And we will see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye for now.